time for our first ever TV torture test. I'm pretty excited about this one. We have our Cena editor's favorite. This is our best TV overall from Panasonic. And I brought in my good friend Eric Franklin to help me try to break it. So we're gonna start with some video gaming, move on to some uh, mishaps with wall mounting, and then maybe a little decorating disaster. I hope you've been practicing your rage quit. Yeah, it's perfectly honed at this point. A lot of losing lately. Excellent, let's do it. All right, it is time for the rage quit test of our Panasonic TV. I'm here with Kyle and Max from GameSpot, and of course, Eric. We're gonna play a little Call of Duty until somebody loses their temper. It's your time. Whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> I killed a guy. Oh, come on, who shot me in the back? Me. Wait, it was you? You actually shot me in the back? It was You me. can do that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to get my missile launcher. Just come, come on! Uh, uh. Oh. Dude, you broke it already. I didn't even throw that hard. I really didn't throw that hard. He scared himself. You don't think you threw it that hard? Because look. I honestly didn't feel like I felt right, that come hard. Here. Come and see what you've done. I like that this is what we brought him down for and now he's in trouble. <laughs> wow, did I do that? <laughs> okay, as I'm looking at this, I see basically a spider web for every single hit point. Like yeah. there's here, here, and here. Three controllers hit the TV and every single one of those controllers caused a break. I find that to be disappointing. I think TV should be tougher than this. So do I. Should we try to turn it back on? We should try it. I think so. Where's the remote? You have the remote. Try to turn it back on. I feel like I'm like afraid of it. All right, I'm pressing power, and it's definitely not. Nothing. And that's kind of no surprise. I think we saw the screen pretty much blow. Yeah. From the impact. Yeah, yeah, we did. As soon as I, as soon as I hit it. <laughs> well, I think now that the screen is pretty well destroyed. <laughs> There's no need to bother with the water test, but we can still check some structural integrity by uh, trying to wall mount this. Yeah, I think so. You know, I'm not very good at this handyman stuff. Neither am I, mm. really. Okay, wall mount this baby. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm thinking. Maybe a little higher. You think? Yeah. Ooh, alrighty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that right, right there. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. I'm just saying, redecorating is hard. Okay, um, that was bad. Shelves fall on it. We definitely have some more cracks. Oh, wow, yeah. tons. Everywhere that the, ooh, look at the bezels come up over there. Oh, man. Over here, the bezel's completely twisted. Wow. And it's only like, what, four feet, four feet and drop? Yeah, that was about four feet. Should we try to lift it back up? Uh, See sure. what the bath looks like? Yeah, let's check it out. It's just, I mean, it is pretty heavy. Yeah. Well, the back looks intact. You wanna... Yeah. Okay. So the back is fine. The bezel and the screen are shattered, destroyed. Yeah. I, wanna, I kinda wanna do a little research and see what the cost would be in fixing a TV like this, but I guess now we know. Don't drop it? Be careful with your TVs. I guess so. Yeah. They're fragile. It's a delicate flower. It totally is. And we killed it. I think it's safe to say that this is a fail for the TV. Yeah, I think that's safe, for sure. And we've learned an important lesson here. <laughs> Which is, don't drop your TVs. Yeah, and don't throw things at your TVs. Probably not. But it's, you know, it's good. I think people have kids, and when they're shopping for a TV, they want to know how much it can take, and it turns out the answer is not very much. Not at all, really. So you want to play cards or something? I have Uno. 